I've just been getting a few videos. I like to get the videos now. I do. I like to edit the videos with the little... They have so many cute little terrier, little cartoon things you can add. Anyway, I got a bunch of videos, but you're just operating them in free agents. You're not trying to. There's a lot of. Oh, she swims like a. Oh, no, that's Millie. Oh, hi, Mike. Yeah, Millie's a big problem with food aggression in a group. Oh, hi, Joseph. Yeah. So if you said they all kind of look the same, but that one has a bad behavior, all right, watch. If you said get it out of the water, hang on, watch, watch. Millie! I thought I was hitting the pager. If you said they... They start to all look alike when you get them in the water. That's Millie. I thought that was Millie. Look at the face. I couldn't see the body. Look at the face. Okay, watch. I'll do all of this too much. She's gonna flip around. Olive! trait in a Labrador because you just you don't expect it you they all, all these look alike but that one has very very bad I have to I'm really not even really even giving them I'm just trying to toss it in the general direction but it's not fixable it's I mean it's it just has to always be monitored in a group I don't know what to tell people it's can't unlearn the behavior. It's a just genetic predisposition. These don't have it. These don't have it. So of course, when it goes, out, Olive doesn't understand. That's probably why she's going off over there swimming alone. She's gonna be near this one. Who could blame her? All right, let me bring my stand so I can. Oh, I left it way over there. I got some good shots though. And you are. You're saying. Watch this little. I wander right back over there to where. So I can just do a silent recall with her or watch. Let's just go on a little nature walk. Come on, you guys like to go back here. Come on. There's rabbits all over the place though. At night when I come out here, I see them all hopping across this little trail. The best way to control them up though is to just move. He said under the premise that they can't resist movement. If you're the fastest moving thing in the environment, you got a shot. You got a shot that this thing's gonna focus on your ass. <laughs> that's, that's how they are. That's instinctual behavior. If it's moving, it might be edible. If you said, well, you're just adapting it. You're sort of a food wagon. Okay, look, I like to put the camera right here. Oh, hi, David. All right, watch, look, they're all gone. I'll do silent recall. said you stopped it from getting the rabbit and it came back yeah if you said by screaming at the, <laughs> at the right moment by screaming at the right moment I hit the reflex it was already in reflex 
And this is the one that was in the episode called How to Stop Them From Chasing or how to, how to Stop Unwanted Bird Chasing or something. I don't remember what it was, but I, we took it to this park and this park is full of these pigeons that people feed. So they're real tame. They don't seem to have a, a lot of fear of dogs and this dog just started chasing all of them. If you said, well, they're just, just one, they were everywhere. But I'm identifying which one is the problem. If you, the one that has the food aggression. And they do start to kind of look alike when you get them in a group. They're gonna go whatever way you go though. People need to just try it. If you try it, the dog takes off. All you've, it's only gonna go so far before it looks back. If when it looks back, it sees you're going away, that's its instinctual behavior. It's gonna chase after you. You've gotta really, that's how you have to think of it. Now, let's see. Let's see what its instincts are. I'll go against all of those. Oh, God. All right, come on, let's go back here. David's never seen the back of my property. This is the camping area we have. It's called, this is what, I never heard of this before I moved to Florida. It's called primitive camping. If you said, what does that mean? It basically means there's your campsite. <laughs> there, ow! There's your campsite. If you said no anemones, none. <laughs> primitive, primitive. If you said people go for it, yeah, yeah. So people who want to go to bike week that don't have any money. <laughs> All right, come on, there's a little trouble in here. Are you, if you said, what are you saying to myself? I said, I'm saying the one with the food aggression seems like it's kind of heading, heading out. Watch, watch, watch. Oh, it's gone. Millie! You said it came back. It did, but I'm being very specific. I'm sort of, if you said this one's haunting rabbits, oh, I'm sure it is. Look that one. Oh, my God. 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 They don't want to not, they don't, you know, they don't care where we're going. Chase! And if you said, why do we need the verbal? You do need the verbal because that dog isn't wearing a pager and I can't see it. <laughs> I don't see it. It's disappeared into the woods. So you do have to have the verbal, but anyway, David, this is my property. Hey, if you said this, this is my old pig pen. I wouldn't mind like getting like a little sort of, I don't know, some other, I'm just really honestly thinking, I did train that pig. I, I trained this other animal, David. I, I, I'm sure my brother would say it would be fine to send you the video, but I'm, Thinking of branching out into other different animals. The dog thing, that's been done to death. <laughs> Let's get into some other animals. See what these things can do. If you said, what do you think? Viral videos, oh my God. A chicken with a pair of pants on was yesterday's viral video. The pants weren't even stylish. <laughs> they didn't even fit the damn chicken. It didn't even have a top on with these damn pants. And the shot was terrible. It was just a chicken running away in pants. If you said everybody was sharing it and laughing and laughing, yeah. <laughs> Yes, that's how easily entertained we are. There was a movie, I don't know if you remember this movie, David, it was back, it's been a while ago, but it was back when they sort of started foreseeing what was getting ready to happen. It was called Ed TV. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Lou! You see her? Yes, it's coming in handy. If these things get off in the bushes, you're screwed. You do want them to stay on the trail. If 
He said, your best bet is to say, stop, stop, stop. No, my best bet is just distance myself from these dogs once they're not close to us anymore. Anyway, it goes all around that way, David. And then there's a little trail. He said, you need to cut your grass, I know. And if he said, no, look at him go, look at him go. They're looking back. Oh, big boy's headed for the water, though. He's thinking, I got to get me some water. He knows not to breach that corner. If the other ones go, he'll go, all right, there went Olive, there went Olive. There she goes, there she goes. He's gone, he's gone, he's in the water. That'll give the other ones liberty to get in. Okay, that one's gonna go. She's gonna be gone. He said, well, all they have to hear is the water splashing. All right, watch. Olive! Millie. God, she is awful. She is awful, Linda. Just making proactive attacks on these dogs. She sees not look at her. She's not gonna really come out anymore. That's too much. I guess I remember that about her, but it's all dogs aren't the same. They didn't raise this dog to be like that. And I didn't raise these to not be like that. They're just not like that one, and that one's like that. They are somewhat related, but this, I mean, this came from some kennel in Texas. I mean, it's got now extreme behavior to this one. Now it's gonna grovel to this one, which now this one's gonna start attacking it. <sighs> That's its strategy, though, to deal, watch. I want you to watch, it's gonna start splashing in the water. Now it's gonna make itself a victim. Thank God I didn't bring the male down here. Now it's running drop tail. See it, Mike? It's running drop tail. Look at the tail. Look at the tail. It's running drop tail. Oh, God. So what's that say? Kill me now. It's just basically just, it's it's like the, it's like these videos where the lion, whatever, they get the thing trapped and it, it can't escape. It did escape though. She made an escape. You said, was it really trapping? And it wasn't really, but it just the dynamics start playing out. And they have certain responses to certain dynamics. This dog, because it wasn't raised around other dogs, it doesn't have good social skills, it's got the aggressive behavior, it has overt reactions. Okay, if you said get it over. Millie! I'm not using any food. I am using the yay, but I'm not gonna risk this thing snapping and everything. If you said I don't like that kind of recall, oh, you know, I like this kind of training. It's very deliberate. And if you said you're gonna just keep doing it with no treats, no. But for the sake of today, because this thing is snapping at all the other dogs, I'm just faking it. <laughs> so all right, guys, I gotta get this stuff down. But it's it's changing your dynamic. And I got some good videos, but you need to say to yourself. It is kind of like, like when they have a runaway herd of horses, I suppose. They like try to get to the front and turn them. They try to get to the front and turn them. They know they can't stop them, but if they can get into the front of them and turn them, you're operating under that same premise with these dogs. If you can turn the one in the front, I already say to myself, if I can turn one of these, the rest of them can't help themselves. They're weak. It's their kryptonite. A fast movement. If you said, what if it's... Anything moved fast suddenly shot across there on instinct. Are they just going to start? That's been my experience on instinct. They're just one time when I was running with my Dover, I used to run on this road out there. If you said, no, there's no traffic. It was the middle of the night. It was really very cathartic because there was nobody around. It was the middle of the night. There was really no traffic. But all of a sudden, a deer runs out. And if you said, yes, just out of reflex, the Doberman started running with it. If you said chasing it, trying to kill it, I, I don't think that, I think it, it just went with the movement. It just got sucked into this thing's movement. And I had the call, I mean, I ran with the collar on it. I was able to get it back, but if you said, yeah, that was a big surprise. <laughs> you know what I mean? If it wouldn't, if I didn't have a collar on it, it wouldn't have come back. It may have decided to start chasing it all around out here. And then, then what? Then it's gone in the dark. It's two o'clock in the morning, it's dark. Anyway, guys, I hope it helps. Anytime you're adding a dynamic, I had to change my strategy to leave food out because this one's aggressive. 
and it's snapping at all the other ones, which I do want to get for that. But I'm just saying to myself, my superpower is just moving. They're watching me. And, you know, just going away. That's the law of nature. Everything has some influence just by existing. So I have some influence, influence just because I'm out here with them. If you said they're all going to come a-running. Yeah. But if you said, what's my job? If someone's paying me to train dogs, my job is to have more influence. Not, oh, well, I've got some influence. Some influence. I need a lot more than some. So if, if I'm able to have some influence just by being there, so there they all are. I didn't say a word. Then how is I can, we're not talking rocket science. We're really not, people. I could see if these were... This isn't the cognitive trade-off hypothesis experiment. Where it's not. This stuff works on dogs, in, regardless of whether the people speak English or not. We're so hung up and damn sit down everything else. They don't even they don't say that in other countries. If you said that you're lucky because you have no language barrier with a dog anywhere in the world, no, there's no language barrier. <laughs> there's not. If you said, what about wild? I might have a little experience there, too. <laughs> and there's no language barrier. It's the mother tongue doesn't require any words. So that's why it's going to translate. And whether these dogs are in Romania or whatever. Anyway, guys, thanks for tuning in. I got to go, but that's... Uh-oh. So what's it eating? Oh, just one of those acorn things. But that one's not going to snap over food or whatever. If you said, what if it was that one? Yeah, that one. If you're anywhere near, it's not only going to snap, it's going to take a very proactive approach to driving the others away. They're all staying away from it. But I'm saying to myself, I, they can't, if I, the worst plan would be to try to make all of them stay when they're all going to go with me if I go. That's more of their instinct. You know, I don't know of any, I don't know of any disciplines that say, let's figure out what their natural instincts are and immediately work against those. Immediately work against, and I don't want to put them on the platform because Millie's a snapper, but we're not saying let's immediately work. If they think I'm going to the pond, they're going to try to go there first. If you said, are they saying to themselves, where is it going? That's the good part. No, not really. Just that it's going somewhere deliberately. That's what they're saying. If you said they're just referring to as it, yeah. <laughs> they're viewing me from the behavior's viewpoint. That's what people need to understand. They're not viewing it from, I read on Facebook, I'm supposed to love her more than myself. Oh my God, stop. All right, guys, I'll be back. I got a bunch of footage to edit and I just, I don't know if you guys like it or not, let me know, but I like putting the little cartoons and stuff on there to sort of make it look cuter. <laughs> that's, that's what I like to do. So that's what I'm going to do this afternoon.